Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how to create a Polaroid-like picture using Corel Draw. So first of all, I'm going to drag in an image. Uh, this is Ivan, my cat, and I'm just going to drop the image here. There we go. As you can see, it is huge. This is just the uh, original size of the camera. So I'm going to quickly resize it here. Just make it a tad smaller. There we go. And let me scroll down. I'm uh, pressing Alt and scrolling down and Control to scroll left and right and using the scroll wheel of course and now I'd like to crop it a little bit so I'm gonna select the shape tool and make a selection around these two nodes and I'm gonna drag them while holding down shift and this looks about right nice and I'm gonna do the same on the other side Drag it in, say like this. Because Polaroids are kind of narrow, so I'd like to keep that. Okay, good. This is pretty much the um, composition I want. Now I'm going to dial in the size, because um, earlier I just dragged it to make it smaller and more manageable. I know I'd like to have it 600 pixels wide exactly. So I'm going to lock the aspect ratio, and I'm going to dial in 600. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to create the frame by double-clicking the rectangle tool while holding down shift. So I hold down shift, double-click, and there we go. We now have a rectangle. Uh, now let's go to the object properties docker here and change the uh, rectangle width because that's our frame actually. So we're going to make it a little bit wider, let's say yeah, 18 pixels or so. And of course I'm going to have to make it white but now I can't see it. So what I'm going to do is add in the uh, drop shadow by opening this flyout and clicking drop shadow and I'm now just gonna click and drag like so. Okay nice. But it's a bit too light for me so I'm gonna drag the slider here better but it's still too feathered so I'm gonna reduce the feathering by this value here and I can also of course dial in an exact value okay uh, but something looks off here and the reason it looks off is because the um, frame goes on top of the image rather than below so I'm gonna click the frame and I'm gonna click control page down there we go and I just sent the frame to the bottom and it looks much better now okay now um, another thing I want to do now Obviously, since this is a Polaroid, I'm going to need to use uh, the frame. Like, I'm going to need a little caption bar at the bottom, I mean. So, I'm going to draw it in as a simple rectangle. And to do that easily, I will make sure the Dynamic Guides feature is on. And this is a handy feature that lets me actually uh, make spot-on selections. You see, it highlights the edges and the nodes, etc. So I can make my rectangle exactly from this node. It snaps to it. And I'm going to click and drag and all the way to this edge. You see, and it snaps to that edge, to the right edge. And I'm just going to size it, let's say, something like this. Nice. And I'm going to fill it in with white. And by right-clicking, the color swatch, I'm going to make the outline white as well. Okay, this looks fairly Polaroid like. Maybe I need to pull it a little bit higher. Uh, something, yeah, something like that, I guess. And I could now, you know, uh, write a bit of text. I don't know, like here, Ivan the cat. And I can center it by selecting both objects and simply hitting C for horizontal centering and E to get it exactly to the middle and I can of course select the different font there's a whole there's a ton of fonts here I don't know let's go for say looking for something handwritten that's a lot of Hebrew fonts you see on the list that's why it looks like that oh I don't know Okay, let's go for this uh, script font here. Not exactly handwritten, but it'll do in a pinch. Gonna center it again and make it a tad. Whoop! Sorry, selected the wrong thing. Make it a tad lower using the mouse. 
I can, by the way, change the uh, stepping. Um, you see right now it moves by 80 pixels. I can make the keyboard move every object by one pixel by simply changing this value. And then I could very easily drag this to get it right. And OK, not bad. Now let's say I want to uh, give this whole thing a slight rotation. I'm just going to circle it all and click in the selection. And now uh, these grippers become rotation grippers. And I can just kind of give it a little bit of an angle and step back a little bit, look at it. Yep, looks fine. So that's how you create a quick Polaroid-like image using CorelDRAW. Thank you for watching.